All right, so let's talk about count the number of consistent strings. So you are giving the string a lot of consistent of distinct character and an array of string word. So a string is consistent if all the character in the string appears in the string allowed. So you just have to return a number of consistent string in the array word. So basically, like you create a hash set and then uh, add every single character into the set and then traverse the entire word string. And for each word, you traverse every single time. And if you see there's a uh there's a character not in the set then you just ignore and then if there is a character uh every character inside the set then you pretty much just increment your counter and then you will just return the counter so let me just uh, dive, dive into the questions so in this case i'm going to just change the name this is going to be a and this is going to be string okay so uh i will have to create a hash set right away and everything is inside a character right so that is the new hash set so I'm going to convert entire A to power A. And pretty much just add the into it, right? And I need to counter. And I also need to know my string, so traverse entire string. So and I would also need to increment my counter every single time, no matter what. But I need to check every single character inside the world, right? So for char C inside the world I to char array. And then if there is uh something that is not in the set, I need to break the much, right? So if that contains are not in the set, see, I will have to break. So uh before you break, since you add since, since you add the counter right uh right after you uh enter the for loop, right? So I mean right before you enter the for loop, you, you increment your counter, right? But you somehow find out there's a character not in the string world, right? So you have to increment your counter. So this is pretty much uh the tricky way you have to uh you you have to notice. So you just have to return a counter. So this is the solution, and let me run it. All right, so let's talk about time and space. This is space, so it's going to be all of, uh, pretty much it's all of A, right? The length of the A, and for time, this is all of what? All of S times all of W, and W is actually uh, the maximum of the word, to be honest. So here's my note. So time is all of S times W. S represents the string of the word, the length of the string, and W uh, represents the length of the word. And this is the maximum, the, the, the longest word inside the string, S. And then space is all of A, and A is the length of A. And this will be a solution, and I'll see you next time. Bye.